Gord wired to call GTH inquiry if elected leader of the Saskatchewan party. Gord Wyant has promised to call a public inquiry into the global transportation hub, GTH, if he is elected the next leader of the Saskatchewan party. Wyant, the former Attorney General for the province, said the inquiry will examine the government's role in establishing the GTH. I've heard from many people who are concerned about the land transactions related to the global transportation hub and I share those concerns Wyant said in a release Tuesday morning. He also said he would broaden the powers of the Conflict of Interest Act. I will ask the Conflict of Interest Commissioner to recommend how we can strengthen the Conflict of Interest Act to ensure that he can investigate any future potential conflicts of interest more thoroughly and resolve them more quickly," Wyant stated. Without prejudging the outcome, I believe the only way to lift the cloud over the GTH is to shine a very bright and very public light on the entire matter. Global Transportation Hub, a crown corporation, bought 41 acres of land at a cost of $1.2 million in February 2014 and in March 2014. The province completed the transaction by purchasing 204 acres of land west of Regina at a cost of $21 million. Before GTH bought the land in late 2013 for $21 million, it was bought and sold numerous times at escalating prices. Police are now investigating the purchase of land, which includes activities surrounding GTH's purchase of the land from the private sector. Wyant said any public inquiry could be impacted by the RCMP investigation, but an inquiry would be appointed under the recommendation of independent legal counsel. It's unacceptable to me and to the people of Saskatchewan that after all this time, there are still more questions than answers when it comes to the GTH. Ronald Barkley, the province's conflict of interest commissioner, said last week he will not be launching an inquiry into whether or not former MLA Bill Boyd violated the Conflict of Interest Act in the GTH land deals. Barclay made the announcement after interim Saskatchewan NDP leader Nicole Sarawa sent him a letter asking for an inquiry into Boyd, who retired last Friday. Boyd was the minister responsible for GTH at the time of the land deal. Provincial Auditor Judy Ferguson determined the $21 million land deal was not done in a fiscally responsible manner in an audit into the purchase. Ferguson told the Public Accounts Committee last November that the audit into the GTH did not conclusively state that there was no conflict of interest, fraud or wrongdoing with respect to these land transactions related to GTH. Wyant said an inquiry and changes to the Conflict of Interest Act would ensure better government transparency and accountability. I believe Saskatchewan must mirror both in law and in practice the best jurisdictions in the world when it comes to transparency and accountability in government," Wyant said. Four other people have announced they are running to replace Brad Wall as leader of the Saskatchewan party, and Premier of the province, Tina Bodrey-Miller, Alana Koch, Ken Sheveldayoff and Scott Moe. Saskatchewan party members will chose a new leader on 27 January 2018 at a leadership convention in Saskatoon.